Hi beautiful family and welcome to my video. Today I I just woke up like half an hour ago and my hair is a mess, I know, and I still have my pyjamas on, but, but I really want to use this foundation earlier today and use it at least for eight hours before I do my uh, last check-in. So this is the Ofra Absolute cover foundation full coverage foundation made with silk protein uh, pepti peptides you can see the packaging and i did got this in a shade what shade is this one and i think it's yes shade one and i think it's it's a little bit too dark i was actually scared that it's going to be too, too light because it looked very light on uh, line but it uh, turned out to be a little bit darker, but doesn't matter, we are going to make it work. This says, this is smooth all over. Go from part-time to full-time sta uh, status in this long-lasting foundation that leaves skin flawless. Stay perfectly matte all day with the, this buildable medium to full coverage formula, mixed with silk uh, peptides and skin-loving antioxidants. Absolute coverage foundation keeps your face perfect Perfect, protected from outside pollutants that age your skin. How to apply? Apply to face using a brush or sponge. Spot apply to address the need for more coverage. So I am going... This is a glass packaging. It's a very nice glass packaging with plastic cap. I mean, yesterday I reviewed the... Where is it? I can't find it. Yes, here it is. Yesterday I reviewed the Milani Queen Screen Foundation. Really like this foundation. And uh, you can check out the video how I applied it and how I made it work. Um, you get 30 milliliters in here and shade one. I know. I'm going to use it. And for primer, I am going to use the same primer I used yesterday. And the same primer I'm using actually this couple of months is Milk Hydro Primer. And I'm going to use that all over my face. Uh, on my eyes, I did play today a little bit with this Neon Huda Beauty palette. I love these palettes and it's so spring. And of course, I'm going to create... Though uh, it says that the shades are not suitable for eyes. It means that they are going to stay in your eyes. I know some people talked about... There was a girl that did it, that made a video where she... Um, had uh, where her eyelids were stained and then when she took off this protection or this first paper it said that it's not made for eyes um, but it says always I think it's the information they always put on shades like this that will stain your eyes you can see here and if you can see there is information that you need to lift this to find more information. And more brands do the same. I mean, Emma Pure does the same thing where you need to actually peel off the first layer to find about, more about the product. So I don't think she's hiding anything. And I think she said on her one of her videos that this will stain your eyes. So, okay, let's shake this. Um, I did swatch it yesterday on my hand uh, to see the color. It's kind of liquidy and it's a little bit darker than... I usually go for right now but it would be nice suitable for me during the summer and maybe it's not it does oxidize too actually I did saw I saw yesterday when I swatched that it oxidized on my hand it's very light the shades it looks nice right now but as you, I don't know if you can see it oxidize immediately Mm, actually um, a little bit too dark but if I like the foundation I'll definitely buy a lighter shade and mix these two like I do with Urban Decay uh, I don't know if you can see it oxidize uh, quite a lot so I have that in mind oh I look so tan right now It's very light. It feels like I put water on my face and not the foundation itself. It's definitely medium coverage. 
Mm, he doesn't want to sit on my nose, though. I don't know why. All of the foundation sits funny on my nose. And I can't properly see the shade. I can't properly see what I think about the foundation because it's that dark. It's too dark. So it's hard for me to actually see what I think about the foundation. But we'll use... We'll use a light concealer to try to fix this. But shade that side, I'll see if I like this foundation and I'll buy a sh lighter shade. Uh, summer is coming and even if we can't travel, we can stay outside in the garden and get some tan. So, God, it turned too dark. We'll bring it a little bit down on the neck so I don't look too crazy. I'm not going to film more videos today, maybe that's good. <laughs> it looks funny on my nose, but same thing happened yesterday when I used the Milani foundation and then after a couple of hours it looked very nice. I don't know if it has to do with the primer or I don't know. I'll definitely try to with my hourglass primer next time. Uh, but I'm not hating it though, the shade turned, this is one. They do have lighter shades, of course, but I never thought the shade one would be this dark. It didn't look this dark on swatches and on the website. So I will put the information and links down below. Oh my God, it sits terrible on my nose. I hate it. Beautifully on the face, but nose is terrible. I'll try to spot, conceal or spot, treat a couple of parts here to see if I can make the coverage more build up the coverage more am i the only one that can't shade match right now when you're at home i think i saw a couple of youtubers on instagram doing the same mistakes as i did with this foundation i went a little bit too dark let's see i'm going to try to find the I'm going to use Huda Beauty concealer. It's a little bit lighter shade for me. It's Mirage 04N. I'm going to use that to. It is very light, so I think I can try to make me look normal. I'm using a lot of this concealer right now to bright out my skin i like how this foundation is except the nose everything else looks very nice it's hard to see because of the shade because the shade it's a little bit too dark but Hi family, I'm back. I'm sorry, my camera stopped filming because my car was full. I filmed three videos yesterday and I forgot to uh, transfer the pictures from the camera to the computer. So it took me an hour. So right now it's 11.20 and I've been having this foundation on right now for an hour, exactly an hour. And I did finish my makeup look because I didn't want to, well, when the camera stopped filming, I was applying my concealer and I didn't want to wait. I knew it would take a long time and I didn't want to wait one hour bef before I do anything else with my face. So I took the time and I finished my makeup look. And I have to say, I love this foundation. Uh, it does look kind of strange above uh, this eyebrow and uh, on some parts of my nose, but after uh, letting it sit onto my skin for an hour, it actually sank into my skin. It looks looks flawless. The shade is off. We know that. We don't need to. Need to. You don't need to comment the shade. We know it's. Um, it looks weird. I did apply Huda Beauty concealer, very light shade, and I also went with this light powder from Huda Beauty to try also to fix the shade a little bit. And I think it helped. And eyelashes made this makeup look just look stunning. So. It's like magic and on my lips I do have this uh, Urban Glow Lip Pink Lemonade Lip Gloss again I really love 
Urban Glows lip glosses. I reviewed that brand on my channel last or two weeks ago and uh, first impression I didn't like the lip gloss but after using it that day I just fell in love so I really like these lip glosses and they stay a long time. Now I'm drinking my coffee and I have stain on my coffee cup and my lips still look very nice so I do like lip, this lip gloss. Though back to the foundation. I like it. I'm going to wear this the whole day and at least eight hours. Now I'll be having it for an, one hour now and I really really like how it looks. It looks very nice, it looks beautiful, smooth, uh, like a filter. It really looks almost like this Milani screen queen. The texture is different. The, the Ofra foundation is liquidy. This one is very thick, almost like moussey texture. This is liquidy texture, but they still give me that kind of filter looking skin, like I have a filter. Very nice, smooth. You can still see some, uh, you know, scars on my face. I don't mind. This is my natural skin, so of course you'll see. I'm not perfect, so of course you'll see something. You can definitely build both of these up. You could definitely build up the coverage if you like to. I will experiment a little bit more with this foundation, maybe make, mixing it with my airbrush flawless foundation that I didn't really like and it's very light for me right now. So maybe I can try to mix these two and make it work as a shade and also as a base. Um, I tried to mix this foundation with a couple of other foundations don't like the results though but so far I'm really liking how everything looks on my skin and I enjoy this foundation I can't feel it on my skin which is a big big plus that's always something I'm looking for when I uh, re buy a foundation but yeah guys I will go back and uh, do some dishes make some food relax and I'll be back in a couple of hours Hi my beautiful family and welcome back. Now it's 6 or oh, maybe 10 minutes past 6 p.m. and I'll be having this foundation on now for around 8 hours. Actually 8 hours and this is how it looks. I didn't touch my face. I tried not to touch my face. I didn't powder it more or didn't do anything uh, on my to my skin except putting a little, little bit of lip gloss right now. But everything else looks like it uh, looks like this after eight hours. So let's see. Let's take a mirror and look very close. In the beginning I said I didn't like how it sits on my nose and above my eyebrows. Right now it looks very nice over there. It looks like it took some while to actually sink into the skin a little bit more. I really like how this foundation looks on my skin. I look healthy like I have like I have a healthy glow. The shade is totally wrong, which can destroys a little bit of my experience with this foundation and my eyeshadow is still glowy. I really love these Huda Beauty um neon palettes. I don't know. I have to say I really like this foundation though. Really really like it. Everything looks nice. It didn't settle into my fine lines. It didn't cake, it didn't, I don't know, it just looks like I just applied um, a foundation and I did it set it with some setting powder, luminous setting powder, because it looks a little bit luminous. Uh, but otherwise, I really like how everything looks nice. Um, the only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it oxidizes a lot. It really oxidizes a lot. That's the only thing I don't like about this foundation, but everything else looks very nice. So this shade is going to look perfect on me in a month or two when I get a little bit more tan. But so far I'm really liking everything, how everything looks on my skin. It didn't settle into my fine lines. I really like this foundation. Really like this foundation. Like it. I'm so happy because right now I do have foundation that I can use. I have this foundation, though the shade I need to fix, I have this foundation I reviewed yesterday. I also got the new, uh, not the new, but I the, bought uh, another one of these um, Catrice liquid coverage. And next week I'm going to do a video where I review this Catrice foundation 
um, all matte. I think it's a little bit light, this shade, 20 nude beige. It's not really the perfect shade for me, but who cares? I, you can see that I'm terrible shade matching myself. But I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work because I love this Catrice foundation. It's my holy grail. Really love this. So we'll see. It says last up to 18 hours. Mattifying oil free. Shine control. So I'm going to review this next week. Uh, but right now I'm happy with this Ofra, uh, Ofra full coverage foundation. It really smooths all everything. Uh, very nice. And uh, I don't know, I just really like it. Really like it. So yeah, I give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching. Let me know down below if you try this foundation or if you're curious to try it. Let or Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and continue to watch my videos. And I see you in my next one. Bye.